Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at JAWS uh, Podiatry. This is a young patient um, who presented to our office um, seeking solutions, long-term solutions for the appearance of both feet. Not only um, did the patient express this was a functional issue, but also with good reason, the aesthetic elements as well. Um, patient is 32 years young and again presented to our office you know seeking solutions not only um, for the unsightly lesions right but also for the length of the toes the length of the toes of course have been causing the patient long-standing pain as a result of of the the length of the toes and also um, the appearance the patient correct me if I'm wrong, has never shown her feet to the world. That is correct. As a result of what we see here. The good news, solutions exist. And what we're going to go ahead and do today is there's going to be multiple procedures to accomplish a final clinical outcome. Procedure number one, toe shortening, second, third, and fourth toes, left and right foot. Uh, number two, the excision of the unsightly lesions. Okay. The right foot. And of course, the left foot. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and, um, and I'll show you guys when the patient is not weight bearing, the big toes. We're gonna go ahead and bring them down a little bit. You guys are gonna see that. All of these procedures are gonna be performed here in our office-based surgical suite, local anesthesia. Patient will be awake, patient will walk in, and will walk out. We don't use any pin screws or plates. And I will, and I will elaborate uh, that a little bit more further in the video, okay? Okay, everyone, so, um, just to kind of voice um, the approach here, we're going to go ahead and shorten the second, third, fourth uh, toes to reestablish the parabola. Okay. Again, as I said before, this is a minimally invasive approach. You guys will will see later that it is a plantar uh, uh, keyhole incision approach, and also in between the toes. So behind all the incisions, underneath the toe, and in between the toes. Okay. And as everyone can see here, this is this is what I mean by the big toes, right? You see. They're kind of raised like that. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, and that's called a hallux extensus. We're gonna go ahead and bring that down, okay? Um, but um, this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful transformation. Again, the unsightly lesions, we're gonna go ahead and excise them. And, um, and uh, you know, as we go through this uh, entire process, uh, I think everyone's gonna enjoy this tremendously. Okay, everyone, so we're all done. I would say an hour and a half later, we're all done left and right foot. Again, just to recap, toe shortening, second, third, and fourth toes, left and right foot. We went ahead and lowered the um, the great toes. They were actually looking up like a little bit of a ramp. And also, you know, we excised the unsightly lesions, corns, third and fourth toes. Um, this is obviously the before. Go ahead, Jennifer. Okay. So <clears throat> let's talk a little bit here. So what we performed today as everyone can see, there's a tremendous difference in, in respect to the transformation before and after. Jennifer, let's put that back so that the world can actually see. This is before and after. So for a lot of people, Dr. Wagner, how much shortening were you able to achieve today? I would say easily in respect to the second toe, easily a centimeter, right? Um, we're in our office space surgical suite. This was performed under local anesthesia. Patient is awake. Patient, are you awake? Yes. Patient is awake. Um, patient walked in. We'll be walking out, as I said before. Uh, we don't use any pin screws or plates. What we see here, these little um, little strips, these pieces of tape, everything is held by, um, by implementing these very delicate, intricate splinting taping techniques for a period of about four weeks. Jennifer, let's take a look at the right. <clears throat> Same thing. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. When we talk about minimally invasive, this is what I mean, okay? Little keyhole incisions here and there. Um, in respect to the, to the minimally invasive approach that we use, as everyone can see there, there's a little suture right there, another one right there, and another one right there. So there's three there. And of course, let's go to the bottom. Let's turn the black on the top there. And 
you guys can't see them, but there's one right here, one right here, and then one right here, okay? Same thing, let's go to the left. Okay, let's come around here again. So, <clears throat> the, and again, this is a little keyhole incision that we use to bring down the, uh, the big toe, okay? Dr. Wagner, the patient walks out using which shoes? Here are, the, here are the Gucci's for everyone. These are the Gucci's that are used for four weeks. Obviously, there's a pair left and right, okay? In respect to pain management, um, surgery, 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 it does not matter if it's minimally invasive surgery. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is called Expiril, okay? It's a long-acting local anesthetic. We're going to go ahead and infiltrate this now. Um, we obviously want to have happy patients, not unhappy patients as a result of the level of discomfort. Everyone is different. We know that. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is infiltrate the expiral, essentially putting the toes to sleep for um, either several days, right, to skip the acute phase of the, the most discomfort, or it will definitely minimize, depending on the person, anywhere between 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, even 90 percent pain reduction. Again, okay. In closing, again, yes, Dr. Wagner, I didn't know that toe shortening surgery was a thing. Absolutely. A lot of people battle, you know, several of the, whether it's something, as I said before, the functional elements, pain, discomfort as a result of the long toes and or the aesthetic elements. Dr. Wagner, I'm not happy with the appearance of my feet. I can't tell you guys how many people are not happy with the appearance of their feet, whether it's toe shortening, toe lengthening, um, Cytus, you guys all know me out there as Dr. Wagner, um, calluses, corns, long toenails, and so on and so forth. But 90% uh, of my practice is minimally invasive cosmetic foot surgery. That's what we basically do. Okay. And if you guys, um, I highly recommend that for the people out there that are going to watch this video, take a look at our Instagram page, Jaws Podiatry. Again, Instagram, Jaws Podiatry, you guys are going to see some incredible transformations. Okay, so again, Jaws Podiatry, Instagram, take a look, follow us, and you're going to like what you, you really see there, okay? And as I said to everyone, the patient will be walking out, and there she goes. Again, as always, thank you for watching.